Okay you guys, so today's video I think is an absolute banger, I always do, but really we're going through how sometimes simple it is to be better at running and that it's not that complicated. I made this decision not to go to altitude, we're going to talk through why, but more importantly we're going to start getting you thinking about what are some of the really simple things that you might need to bring back to your training, like running reps at race pace, or maybe you haven't been doing your gym or your recovery stuff or your sleep or your hydration. But let's start nailing those basics and see if it gets us places. I made this big decision not to go on camp because I knew I needed to get back doing some things that I could do in the past, some longer tempos at race pace, and today we're going to talk through that. But let's roll the intro. <laughs> Alright guys, so apologies, I have not been uploading, quite a lot going on, to be honest I'm back into the thick of training and, and I've just sort of prioritised a little bit of Instagram if you've seen a few of those reels go up, but also just getting the training done. I don't have a lot to talk about from a this is the marathon I'm doing because I honestly don't know. I know that I'm building patiently to make sure that when I have a crack at this Olympic standard, I'm in the best place possible. But what I kind of wanted to talk about today was I made this decision not to go to altitude. I want to explain why, but I want to make this less about me and more that you can start to figure out the best way for you to get better at running right now, not looking at that grass is greener on the other side, but sometimes just working on some of the basics right where you're at. There's a very good trail ultra runner called Killian Journey. I think that's how you pronounce it, I hope. And he talks about sometimes not going on camps because he just has everything that he needs right where he is. He can eat well there, sleep well there. I want to bring back some of the skills that I've had in the past. I used to be able to go to the park. I used to be able to do a five or six mile tempo at a faster pace than I can now. And so I want to start chipping away at getting some of those assets back, some of those skills back in a good place. So I'm here training in Belfast. Today's just going to be a very, very easy run. And then I'm going to come back to the track. I'm going to do some hill sprints. And then we're going to talk through why I didn't go to altitude. Maybe what you can start doing at home, start focusing on some of the little details, start focusing on maybe getting some of the skills back that you've had in the past. Instead of researching, instead of thinking, you know, what can I do? What can I do? Start to figure out the little things that really help you specifically, not help others. And let's get you in a better place. That's the easy run done. I say easy. I don't often run up hills nowadays on easy runs so I'd probably highly recommend even though I'm going to do some faster hills now you don't need to run up and down hills every day but it is useful to build some leg strength to incorporate runs where maybe for like 10-15 minutes of a 50 minute run or, or you know even 20 minutes you're just going up hills down hills you get to change your form a little bit and, and you build a really nice leg strength so like I said I'm not going to go to altitude I remember in 2020 when I ran 209 for the marathon, there was a long period of time where I was just training really consistently. Really simple, K's on a Tuesday, tempo on a Thursday, sometimes hill sprints on a Saturday. And so I got to the point where after maybe five, six weeks, I was able to do a tempo, you know, at like 445, 450 per mile. And that's kind of a skill I've realized right now that I don't have. So the whole purpose of this next month is just to bring some of those skills back, to be able to go to that park, do that tempo, and just be able to feel and run hopefully similar speeds to 2020. I think there's a bit of a lost art in just covering the basics really well. And you're looking for all these fancy heart rates to run at. Perhaps you're looking at, you know, ways you can get better. Like for me, maybe going to the altitude or, or warm weather training camps. And sometimes you've got everything you need right where you are. Get your gym done, follow some of those basics. If there's a skill that you used to be able to do in the past that you can't do anymore. So like me, that tempo run, bring it back, start to work on it. Look at how you got that to a really good place once upon a time 
and then follow those steps, get it back. So if I want to be able to run 4.45 to 4.50 per mile around the park, and I can only run sort of five minutes now, well, you go back to 2020, you look that on week one, you were also five minutes, but by week five, week six, it was down to 4.45. You have to earn that back. So today, nice easy run, you know, that was really great. I love some of these trails here around Belfast. Now I'm gonna do a couple of hill sprints where I'm just gonna focus on form, technique. It builds a bit of like, probably like neuromuscular power in the legs, gets those fast twitch fibers nice and active, but it's also just really good to do at the end of a run. Because it's uphill, there's not the same amount of pounding on the legs, so there is a little bit of a sort of less injury risk by doing these sort of sprints uphill. But again, you can incorporate them into an easier day and just enjoy it, focus on your form. Don't try to race yourself up the hill, just try to feel good. So that's all I got for you in today's video. Focus on the basics, do them really, really well. If you wanna check out the running school, you can, joggingroom.com. I did do a deal over the first week of the, the new year, and that's if you signed up to the masterclass, I would give you any of the training plans for free. I'll still honor that for people that watch this YouTube video. Get in touch with me on Instagram. If you sign up, get in touch over Instagram, send a message, say you watch this video on YouTube, and we'll add you to one of those plans for free. But thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, do all those lovely things, and take care.